Welcome back to the channel, my name's Shan. With the recent announcement from Ofchem of the expected rise in energy bills, I'm wondering whether it's better to use gas or electricity to heat my hot water. And I suspect you are too. And in this short video, I'm going to calculate my own numbers and show you how you can run your own numbers too to find out that exact answer. Sound good? Let's jump into it. So, a bit of background. We live in a five bedroom detached house in the northeast of England. We have a 300 litre unvented hot water cylinder in our loft space in which the water can be heated by either gas or electric via two 3 kilowatt immersions. You'll also know that we have solar panels and a battery, but let's just assume for this video that we're in the depths of winter and there isn't much excess solar kicking around, and enough battery to supply the main house needs only. But if you're wondering about heating your hot water with solar, especially in the summer, and you're considering a solar diverter, then definitely check out this video in the top right hand corner or at the end screen. Our boiler uses around 10 kilowatt hours of gas twice a day to 20 kilowatt hours in total, to heat enough hot water for showers and washing up, etc. Our Potterton Suprema 70L non-consenting boiler is around 20 years old, and typing in its details into this website, it suggests a 78.6% efficiency. Over the years I imagine its efficiency has reduced, so let's just say it's around 60% efficient, as a worst case scenario. So 60% of our 20 kilowatt hours of gas gives us 12 kilowatt hours of energy to heat our hot water. We're currently on the Octopus Tracker Tariff for gas, which follows the wholesale price of energy and changes on a daily basis. You can see the last month's worth of daily prices here. More recently, this price has increased to 5.75p per kilowatt hour, but still way below the current fixed price offerings from Octopus. If you want to estimate if the Tracker Tariff may be a good option for you, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner or at the end of the video, and download the free spreadsheet to compare it to your current fixed deal. So for our example, 20 kilowatt hours of gas used at 5.7p per kilowatt hour would see us spending £1.15 to heat our hot water by gas on that day. Now compare that with using an immersion heater to heat our water with electricity. Heating water with immersion is near 100% energy efficient. Therefore, 12 kilowatt hours of electricity to the immersion gives us the full 12 kilowatt hours of energy to heat our hot water. We're currently on the Octopus Go tariff for electricity, which is an electric vehicle tariff and gives us four hours of off-peak electricity at 9p per kilowatt hour, which can be used for all household consumption, not necessarily just charging our car. Our two immersions are each connected via a Sonoff smart switch, meaning it can be easily scheduled for the off-peak period. So for our example, 12 kilowatt hours of electricity used in the off-peak period between 12.30 and 4.30 a.m. at 9p per kilowatt hour would see us spending £1.08 to heat our hot water via electricity each day. Our unvented hot water tank is super insulated and supposedly only loses around 2 degrees every 24 hours, so it should keep the water hot enough for the whole day. That's a difference of 7p per day, or £2.10 per month, to heat our hot water with electricity, rather than gas. It's not huge margins, but it'll be an even bigger difference if the daily gas price per kilowatt hour rises, as it's predicted to do this winter. Taking this further, it will be useful to know the exact price per kilowatt hour at which gas becomes more expensive than electricity at 9p per kilowatt hour to heat our daily hot water. To do this, I'll simply take the total price to heat our hot water via electricity each day, which is £1.08, and divide this by the equivalent amount of gas needed, which is 20 kilowatt hours. This gives us a figure of 5.4p per kilowatt hour, meaning for us, whenever the price per kilowatt hour of gas goes above 5.4p per kilowatt hour, we should be using off-peak electricity to heat our hot water. Hopefully that all makes sense. And if you're thinking of joining Octopus Energy, don't forget our offer of an extra £20 from us on top of the £50 credit you'll get from Octopus Energy when you sign up via the link in the video description box below. If you found this video useful, then please like it and subscribe to the channel to keep up the new content I'll be uploading. Let me know in the comments section below if you've had the same thoughts and what your cutoff is. And if you've enjoyed this video, then I think you'll find this video useful too, and I'll catch you over there. Thanks for watching, see you next time.